Hello again. My name is Washington Wedderburn, and I'm the Principal Product Manager for the ANSYS Systems Toolkit, SDK, and Orbit Determination Toolkit, ODTK. In this short video, I'll be providing a quick primer on the latest 2023 R2 releases, SDK 12.7 and ODTK 7.7. .7. So let's get started. As an increasing number of entities look to take advantage of the space domain, spacecraft operators are becoming much more sophisticated in the types of maneuvers they execute in order to maximize their mission effectiveness. More and more missions are being designed where one spacecraft is required to maneuver relative to a second. While these rendezvous trajectories are part and parcel of SDK's Astrogator RPO capabilities, there is also an additional requirement that should a failure occur that prevents the execution of all the required maneuvers, there should be no resultant collision due to that failure. This SDK release introduces the passive safety tool, which makes it straightforward for you to perform a thorough what-if assessment on any planned rendezvous sequence. With the growing interest in operating spacecraft in the cislunar and other multibody domains, the ability to take advantage of the unique properties of the libration points, also referred to as Lagrange points, has also seen a marked spike in interest. Due to the gravitational influence of multiple central bodies, spacecraft operating in these regions do not conform to the traditional Keplerian rules of motion. That's where the circular restricted three-body problem, CR3BP, serves as a lower fidelity model for performing these initial trajectory designs. SDK's Astrogator toolset in this release provides a design tool to construct the necessary framework in order to work with the circular restricted three-body problem. This provides you with a simplified workflow that saves significant time in exploring the potential options that may best suit your mission needs. The test and evaluation toolkit includes two major upgrades that enhance your ability to undertake forensic analysis on your post-flight data. First, we've added box and whiskers plots as well as histograms to the previously provided graphics options to enable even deeper statistical analysis of your test data. You can now easily assess and visually represent values for median, mean, mode, and variance as it applies to different data elements. In addition, we've added a number of features to improve track analysis for customers importing vehicle trajectory data, which may originate from sensor systems such as radar, laser ranging, or optical tracking systems. You may now filter on points associated with any specific track ID and advance through those points to better understand and visualize the data associated with that individually tracked object. With this latest release, we have taken additional steps to minimize the overhead associated with running the behavior execution engine. We have now added support to the B for configuring projects to work seamlessly with SDK Engine. You can now use provided stereotypes to control how your projects will leverage SDK Engine in the same way you currently configure your projects when using SDK Desktop. This provides an easy pathway from prototyping with SDK Desktop to faster execution and scaling with SDK Engine. We've also removed the need to launch an instance of the Cameo System Modeler when the B Component plugin is being executed through Model Center. Now, the B Component plugin runs directly against the Cameo MD zip file without the requirement to have Cameo open with the project loaded. You are no longer required to have Cameo installed and licensed to run a B simulation via the Model Center plugin. These changes combined provide a significant performance improvement whenever you run large trade studies or design of experiments, since all simulations can now be parallelized much more readily and without the startup cost of launching Cameo. With this latest release of ODTK, you can now specify Antex formatted files available from the International GNSS Service. These files contain global navigational satellite system antenna information for satellites belonging to navigation constellations, such as GPS. ODTK will now utilize this information, which includes mean phase center locations and variations in the antenna's perceived position as a function of the frequency of transmission and the direction to the GNSS receiver to improve the fidelity of the GNSS measurement modeling. 
For satellite owners and operators who rely on tracking data from onboard GNSS receivers, this is another step in achieving improved GNSS-based orbit determination solutions. Thank you for watching, and for more details about these features, please check out some of the other videos posted in this channel. As always, the new releases are available for download from AGI.com, and our support engineers are always available to answer any questions.